Jesus sent his apostles to preach that the kingdom is at hand a kingdom of mercy a kingdom of justice a kingdom of peace ang paghahari ng Diyos ay paghahari ng kanyang awa and this good news is not only about words that is why also with the commissioning of his disciples he talked about curing the sick raising the dead cleansing the lepers and driving out demons that this marvelous deeds of the Lord they are signs of God's mercy and until today this is what we continue to ask the Lord His mercy as we begin every Mass in our penitential rite we humble ourselves and we ask the Lord for His mercy as we go to confession we ask the Lord for His mercy. And Pope Francis, from the very beginning of his papacy until today, continues to talk about God's boundless mercy. And this is the reason why we are here, why we are able to call on the Lord, unworthy though we may be, because of God's mercy. And remember, to receive the mercy of God, receiving the mercy of God should make us merciful also. Mercy as we receive it should also be mercy that we are willing to give. And this is what we see in the first reading today, the story of Joseph. Remember, that Joseph was sold by his brothers. No? Nagalit sa kanya yung mga kapatid at pinabayaan siya. First, they wanted to kill him. But they changed their minds. They just wanted to banish him from the family and from their land. But by God's mysterious ways, Joseph again found his way to his family, or the other way around. His family found their way to Joseph, now in need because of famine. His brothers needed help. And what, what do we find in the heart of Joseph? Not vengeance, not anger, not hate. What do we find in the heart of Joseph? Mercy. Sabi nga sa first reading, sa sobrang awa, naiyak siya sa kalagayan ng kanyang pamilya. No anger, no hate, no vengeance only mercy. My dear friends, the marvelous works of the Lord is a clear manifestation of God's mercy. A mercy that we receive every time we go to the Eucharist, every time we hear the Word of God, every time we receive communion. Our hearts are filled with mercy. And this mercy, we should also be willing to give. God's mercy that we receive, mercy that we are willing to give. Amen.